it's not even 9 a.m. and we just climbed 414 steps up the uh, up Giotto's Campanile, uh, which is the bell tower next to the main the Duomo of, Fre of Florence. I'm very proud of my mom <laughs> for oh, doing it. <laughs> I'm so tired. And she kind of has a cold, so it was even harder for her than it would have been. The Campanile opened at 8.15 a.m. So we got here at like 8.20, 8.30. Um, so there were very few people going up, which is very important because the stairway gets very narrow at some points. Um, but this is easier to climb than the dome. Uh, because that one's even more narrow and more spirally. We're gonna just enjoy some of the views here. I actually like the view from here better because you can see the dome. We have come down from the Campanile and we also just popped into the baptistery which is the building behind me i think i said yesterday that it's hexagonal but it's octagonal there's eight sides that one is the oldest building in this square it's included in the ticket that we bought the other day um, so we just popped in there and now I'm gonna go over to the Uffizi gallery right now we're just taking refuge from the heat outside so we've been back at the airbnb for like a little over an hour i am just about to submit my dissertation but the internet's being very very slow we were at the uffizi gallery for about two hours um, we booked our tickets online in advance and then what you do is you print or you just show your voucher on your phone for the tickets and you pick those up in a separate reserved ticket pickup area um, and then we went through in the special reserve ticket line so basically it's a faster way to get into the museum um, so our time was at 10 30 a.m and we were there for about two hours and that was when we were being quite rushed um, like we tried to go through pretty quickly so i would dedicate a lot of time to that museum if you're planning to go i mean maybe you could do it in one hour if you are just going to see some key pieces like um, botticelli's uh, birth of venus and primavera but it's a huge museum we had lunch at this restaurant called gusta osteria and we were gonna go to gusta pizza which is nearby uh, but they're closed from the 7th to the 28th of august for like three weeks so we couldn't go there but it ended up being such a good find we just shared some bruschetta some octopus salad and spaghetti with tomato sauce and it was really good and so much more tasty and affordable than the food in Venice. The reason I didn't show that much Venice food in my vlogs in Venice was because it was so expensive and really not that good. But it's been so much, so much better in Florence food-wise. I'm just trying to upload my dissertation, but the internet is so slow. My current view waiting for the file to upload. Okay, the file is uploaded. Come on. I did it. I submitted my dissertation. I'm done with my master's. This is very anticlimactic. I guess because I've been kind of done with it for a while. But it's officially off of my shoulders. Now I'm gonna edit yesterday's vlog, which is my Cinque Terre vlog because I did not have time to do it yesterday. And now that I'm not uh, having to worry about my dissertation, I get to edit, so I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> We 
are at Piazza Le Michelangelo now, and this I think is my favorite spot in Florence because the view. <laughs>